Well, it's a museum that's all about the weird, crazy, and bizarre. I went to Lawrence to check out a collection of artifacts that can only be described as seriously odd. Right now, we're outside of a museum, and I know what you're thinking. You have never seen a museum that looks like this, but it's because we're going to check out the Museum of Odd. So ready or not, we're going inside. Come on. Well, here we are, the Museum of Odd. Randy's here with us. Okay, hold on. How did this idea even start? I, you know, I started collecting uh, this stuff when I was, well, about 10 years old. Okay. And I just, it, I got, the bug bit me and it was over. Okay, you live here too? Yes. How? How do you live here? Uh, you know, people say, you know, don't you get kind of cramped, but no, I love this stuff. I'm surrounded by it and I love it. Well, okay, I have to point out this thing right in the middle of the room. I've never seen so many sock monkeys, but this is kind of your pride and joy right here, right? Yes, this is my one of my better collections. Uh, it's the uh, largest sock monkey collection in the Midwest, and it's uh, I've got about between five and six hundred of them. You're looking at about three hundred of them. Uh, they're stuffed with different uh, items, from rags to to um, hair to uh, anything they could get their hands on. This one, if you take that one out with the dress, that pearly, that pearly, this guy? yeah, right there, and push the. Don't middle, tell me this is filled push, with hair. Push no, push the middle of the of his, and I I taught that one how to talk. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're not living by yourself. You oh, have no. all these guys with you. No, 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 yeah. Okay, so this is kind of your favorite. I gotta call my favorite, and it has to do with these hair cow balls or something or another yes they're called uh bees ors they're cow hair balls cow hair balls they're ca cow hair balls and what ha what it this is is uh, when the cow uh would be out in the field be licking themselves their neighbors and whoever and then they would ingest this uh, hair and it would grow into a, a hair ball in their stomach <laughs> And then when they would, would be um, uh, slaughtered, then these would come out. And butchers would usually keep these because they're pretty rare. And when, they're, um, when they come out, then they would, um, uh, some of them would be calcified and some of them wouldn't. So that's why you get the calcification here, whereas this one's still hairy and hadn't been calcified yet. So wait, how did you figure out that you should collect these? Well, I, I saw these at uh, Ripley's, believe it or not, when I was a youngster. I was a big Ripley's fan, yeah. and I would go to Ripley's museums uh, all over the United States. And of course, they always had one in there. And yeah. so, when eBay came along, one of the first things I was looking up was cow hair balls to see if they had any in there. And lo and behold, there it was. So I started buying them. When you were looking up, you know, uh, shoes. Nike Nike shoes, yeah. I was looking up cow <laughs> hair balls. And next thing I know, I, they started coming, and then I started building the collection, and uh, it just started growing after a number of years. And uh, they're, like I said, they're pretty rare. It's probably one of the largest collections in the Midwest. Museum of Odd, come here to see the cow hair balls. The cow hair balls. Okay, but speaking of hair, we're going to go see some more hair. It has to do with Elvis Presley. Yeah, Elvis, old Elvis. All right, we got we to gotta see this to believe it. That is odd, to say the least. <laughs> It is time to return to the Museum of Oz. Are you ready? I'm so ready for this. Well, <laughs> earlier we showed you hundreds of sock monkeys <laughs> and several cow hairballs. Uh -huh. So what could possibly be next, right? Well, take a look. Well, we are in a, another room in the Museum of Oz. And as we mentioned, we're bringing hair back into the equation. What do you have here? Right here is a piece of Elvis's hair that I, I got down in Memphis uh, back in uh, 1985. How did you even find this? I found it in a, in a souvenir store, and of course I had to have it. Yes. Uh, I mean, who, you know, who doesn't want some of the Elvis hair? And I bought it, and we all laughed about it because uh, it was um, from his barber who would collect his hair every time he cut his hair and put it in a shoebox, and then he sold it after his death. <laughs> And so I had to have some, and of course, here it is, Elvis hair. And you said there's like a letter of authenticity inside it. Yeah, letter of authenticity inside saying it, it came from the barber and it came from Elvis's head. You got to care to hold it? Um, I think I will allow you to no, okay. keep holding on to no. that. 
Um, however, thank you. But no this problem. is not the only Elvis thing that you have. No, no, I've got some a little more, a little more important than that. It may get odder, if it, you will. It was odd, and it's Elvis underwear. It took me years and years to negotiate uh, from a guy named Mr. Moon. Well, how fitting, Moon. Mr. Moon, I know, and and I know it all sounds so crazy. And he had a uh, Elvis uh, museum down in Pigeon Forge. And uh, I first saw him down there and was like, I couldn't believe this guy had his underwear. It's uh, one of my pride and joys of the collection. Well, Randy, you're the first person, I think the only person I will ever meet that has Elvis's underwear. Well, so congratulations I for that. I appreciate that. that. Um, what's next? I mean, will you keep collecting? Will you keep going? I or? will keep collecting and keep going and try to find the odd, the weird, the strange. You know, so that people can, I can show people uh, when they come. They can come on whenever, just give you a call first, make sure you're yep, around. Yeah, just give me a call and, uh, and ahead of time, and I'll be happy to give him a tour. Make sure he's not napping. Yeah. Randy, well, this has been a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Thank you. I appreciate you guys coming. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Museum of Odd. That was definitely odd. The underwear. I have to say that was probably my favorite thing I've I've visited here in Kansas City, to be honest. Because it's so off the wall. Yeah, and, but yet everything is on the wall there. <laughs> I mean, everything is everything everywhere in that place. And, and he um, lives there. Yeah, I mean, he said he's going to do a little bit of cleaning. So oh, okay. keep your eyes peeled if he does like a garage sale if you want anything. <laughs> but that place just head to toe everything, and he has stories for all of it. I love that he has these like stories, like the fact that Elvis's barber is like picking up I his know. hair and saving it, and the underwear. How do they know it's his? It, well, I don't want to know how. <laughs> I don't want to know, but go to Lord's, check it out, and you know, you said it's the ultimate compliment for someone to save your save hair. Save your hair. We have a lot of questions when our hair gets cut. We're picking up our hair. We on are. On the way out from now on. <laughs>